everybody. This is According to Nagin Farsad with your host Nagin Farsad. Hi, I'm Nagin Farsad. <sighs> Today, we're going to talk about current events. In fact, that's what we're really going to talk about on this show. But also, we'll talk about absolutely anything else as well. Well, this week we learned that President Obama is actually more dependent on Iran to fight ISIS in the Middle East than we thought. Which is interesting because we're normally like, ugh, Iran, they're the worst. Like, they're an existential threat. They have too many beards. But now we're kind of like, uh, you are the worst, but could you also help us fight ISIS? Okay, before we get our panties in a ruffle, it's not like we are actually technically coordinating with them. But we do have access to each other's radio waves, which we are regularly monitoring. Hey, Ahmed, listen, uh, I think that uh, we should go into Tikrit from the left side. And if anyone happens to be hitting that, not that we are actually coordinating. Ted, yeah, listen, why don't we go in on the right side? Not that I care what anyone else is doing, we're not coordinating. And when you're coming back from the war, can you pick me up a ham sandwich? That would be great. No pickle. What am I, an animal? I kind of feel like Iran is a bit of a natural ally to the United States. Iranians are like Americans with a tan. And they all look like the Kardashians without actually being Kardashians, which is sort of the dream. And they love poetry. They make wonderful movies. They hate ISIS. We hate ISIS. Let's hate ISIS together. Okay, also this week, the Supreme Court is hearing a case about Obamacare, aka the Affordable Care Act, aka Obamacare because nobody ever calls it the Affordable Care Act. Basically, the case pinges on this one little subclause buried deep in a 13,000 page document. And the clause somehow indicates that states that don't have an exchange would not be eligible for subsidies. So basically now the Supreme Court has to determine what the intent of the lawmakers was, which is pretty easy because they're down the street or you could just be like, hey, what was your intent? Ooh, already got a response back. Yeah, guys, their intent was that they wanted to give health, affordable health care to everybody. So what are we doing tonight? Is it a Chili's night or more of an Applebee's? Where's that uh, Ruth Bader? Is she napping? Got it. This is like litigating over a really small oversight of language. It's like taking a typo to court. This is like waging a constitutional case against Helvetica. This is like taking an Oxford comma to court, which I, I would listen to that actually. But alas, we will find out what the Supreme Court thinks with a speedy and swift judgment to be delivered in June. So just, you know, hang tight. And finally today, I wanted to talk about Homeland Security, which may or may not be funded again still. Remember how it wasn't almost funded and then there was an extension and now we still don't know because then the extension is running out. So it might, I don't know, it might not be funded again. Now look, I totally feel the US government on this one because sometimes I would forget to pay my electric bill and then it would be like, but now I use automatic bill pay. And so that doesn't happen anymore. You know, type in your, credit card number and then it just, so we don't have to do this thing that we do. The ongoing problem is that the House wants a bill that both funds Homeland Security and gets rid of Obama's executive action on immigration. They basically want to stuff both of these things in one bill, sort of like a baked potato that has been stuffed with cheese and bacon and Cheerios. Totally enjoy that stuffed baked potato with cheese and bacon, but then eat the Cheerios separately, like for breakfast or a midday snack. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been According to Nagin Farsad with Nagin Farsad. I'm your host, Nagin Farsad. Thank you so much for watching. Viva la baked potato!